not that I don't want you here yeah. It's something about the way you said to my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist you We can get away, palm trees, beach views, food and everything All I wanna hear is in the visions I replay Someone next to you how I feel about you, you is your way We don't really want to, I just wanna get away Sit right next to you vacuum just sitting in the kitchen but i'm about to go out for breakfast and grab myself um i'm gonna try a new place that's in my house there's like a few different like diners and places like that around here and i'm enjoying like exploring um i think i'm also about to make myself a cup of coffee i think i've shown y'all this this is my ooh, my most recent favorite coffee from walmart can't tell i don't think they cleaned the dishes i don't think they ran the dishwasher okay i'm just gonna wash it and throw the rest of these dishes in here legit shook like she just bought my food out to the car that would never happen that would never happen in in maryland that would never happen i love living in a small town it's so like it's so quaint people are so nice it's crazy the difference in the way that people treat you the way that like people act it's just so different and i just love it so much <laughs> Coming from like a major city, like a big area, not to say that people were like terrible, but it's different. It's definitely different and I love it. I was like getting out of the car to go get my food and she like walked up to the car and was like, here you go my love. So nice. Got some buttered toast, got the omelet, got some potatoes, and then um, just some like ketchup and jelly fork and knife. Yum. Let me try it. I gave her a tip because she was moving around so much. I was like, I know she's she's working for this money. <laughs> so maybe that's why she brought it out to me. Or maybe she just would have done it regardless. But I appreciate it. So the potatoes need some seasoning for sure. That's a good sign. Oh, I feel like I look crazy today. I'm going to I just need some salt for my potatoes and then I'll be good. All right, so I just got my ID. Well, actually, I got a temporary ID. I got a temporary ID. My actual ID is coming in the mail. Um, she said in seven to 10 business days. But that was so quick and easy. Y'all, where I, where we used to live, if you go into the, the MVA, you're going to be in there all day. You're going to be in there all day. <laughs> Actually, um, at the MVA in Maryland, you can't even do, I think you can't do tags on the weekends. You can only do license stuff on the weekends, like driving tests. And like, if you need a license renewed or something like that, you can do that on the weekend, but you can't do like tags, if I'm not mistaken. But here we could do both so it's different for sure but y'all we had to come all the way to Tappahannock if that sounds familiar it's because it's where Chris Brown is from but I was in and out in like 30 minutes no like that's crazy that that's insane I've never had that happen before I've always it's always been literally hours to get anything done at Department of Motor Vehicles or Motor Vehicle Association it's probably only like 10 o'clock <laughs> and I'm, we're already done with it so well, almost done. He's he's at the window right now getting his done. It's far from our house, but I think it's worth the drive just to not like be in the middle of everything because they also have a DMV in Fredericksburg, but y'all know Fredericksburg is like a bigger city. It's a lot more populated. It's a lot of people out here. Let me show y'all the parking lot. 
just so you can get an idea look at the parking lot <laughs> like have you ever seen a motor vehicle association or department of motor vehicles with a parking lot this small so if you wanted like an idea of how small town this place is that's how small town it is the uh, the parking lot at the department of motor vehicles only has like 30 parking spots and there were empty seats inside of there there was probably only 30 seats and some of them were empty it's crazy like i live in the country too but this is more country than the country i live in <laughs> so it's different the girls painting and then like a few of my family family members came over because my mom has a storage unit she wanted to transfer all of her storage into our basement um, until we finish it so they had to get a u-haul which is right there and she you know packed up her storage unit brought the stuff down here and now it's all in my basement so it was super late they had to make two trips it was super late by the time they finished so we me and bernie are taking back the u-haul truck so that um they didn't have to try to do it at night because it was gonna be pitch black out it's pitch black out here at night so yeah now it's like almost 9 a.m and that's what we're doing we're just headed to drop this u-haul off and yeah
I made 1250 wiping down all the windows in the house, including the garage. You did the garage windows too? Yeah. You try to make your money, girl. <laughs> I'll give you another dollar if you clean this right here. Those little stairs things? Just the wood part because okay. it's getting dusty. This one and this one. It's so. a dollar's dollar. Make sure you get all the dust off and stuff. It's already looking much better. Hold on, you gotta get right here too. Uh -oh. I like to put it. Okay, so I got this for King because I was thinking he could use this in his room to display like his um, art supplies and toiletries and all that kind of stuff. But like he could do clear containers for like the art supplies and stuff he wants to display and then opaque containers for the stuff that maybe he doesn't want people to see. So we got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was actually 80% off, so it was only like $23. But he does not want to use it. He wants to have like a file cabinet, a metal file cabinet to, this, to put his stuff in his room. His art supplies, Corey. Thank you. <laughs> he wants to have like a metal file, a metal cabinet to put, or like a locker to put his art supplies in. So I think what we're gonna do is just build this, put it in the bathroom, and then we can use it to like store toilet paper for him to put his toiletries, and then like maybe some extra towels or some decor and stuff like that. Y'all tell me why the fire department just came because apparently Cody, I guess, pressed the button, the fire alarm button on the, um, on the, on the alarm system. So they came to the door, they were like, is everything okay? We were like, yes. <laughs> but the fire truck just went that way to turn around. Like, crazy. Yeah. Okay, so we're putting it together and I got this screw. These screws, Corey, you so loud. I got these screws in, but like they won't tighten. Okay, I can just keep turning it. And it's not, it's like popping out. It won't actually tighten into there. This, none of these four will tighten. And then this one, this one also won't, these two also won't tighten. No matter how much I, um, I don't know. So just this one won't tighten here. But all four of them won't tighten on this one, which means this shelf is like completely unstable. So I think... We might just be taking this back because even at the price, it ain't really doing what it need to do. So, yeah. Yeah, we want to take it apart. Let me, let me, let me put it together all the way and see if it really won't just stand up. All right, go ahead. He wanted to finish, finish assembling it. So that's what we're doing. We'll see how it looks when it's all together. And if it feels stable enough to actually be used. Okay, y'all, so I told y'all I was looking at some tables at different places. So this one is at Restoration Hardware. I love this option. They It comes in two different colors. Um, so I'm definitely le leaning more toward the light color, but it also comes in this darker color too. Yeah, I definitely, definitely like the light color more. So I think if I order it, I'm going to be getting this one. I mean let y'all see I'm gonna I'm link these below so you can like look at it on your own but so pretty I love it I think it is so pretty okay so that's one option and then let me show y'all the other options that I was looking at this is the one I was telling y'all about that is like crazy ridiculously expensive that we will not be getting 
the brand is True Form Concrete. So it's all, it's a concrete top table. Um, but yeah, we won't, we won't be getting this because <laughs> this is a ridiculous price. Um, and this one is also concrete top. The bottom is a wood base, whereas this one has a metal base on the bottom. But yeah, I love, I love this wood base. I, I'm really leaning toward this one. I'm going to keep researching though and see what else I come up with. And let me show y'all the options that I was looking at on Wayfair. I mean, Joss and Main. So this is the one I was telling y'all about that is similar to the first one I liked. Um, but the issue is I don't want gold legs. And then some of the reviews were saying that like it scratches easy the top and I, y'all know I got four kids. Like I need to make sure that whatever I buy is durable. So yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what, how heavy this table is. Oh, I remember the other option. It's from Pottery Barn. Okay, so here it is. It is an indoor outdoor concrete table, perfect length at 96 inches. Um, and it comes in a few different finishes. So you can get this gray with char gray and like a chocolate brown. You can also get the like gray on gray. So gray concrete and a gray washed wood. You can get gray with black wood or you can get white concrete with black wood, which is the one I was definitely looking at and most interested in. The only thing about this one, even though I love it, the legs are very stark. Like they're very, you could warm it up with like wood chairs, but I don't want to do that. So most likely I would be still looking at getting white, black and white chairs and that's going to make the whole room really black and white versus having the table from Restoration Hardware that has the wood tones and like the warmer tones and then adding in that black and white with the chairs and it's a mix of like the warms and the cool toned, more um, stark black and white contrast up against the wood versus that black and white contrast up against black and white. Hopefully that makes sense. But I just kind of wanted to get an idea of when this stuff might be delivered. So if I order it now from Pottery Barn, it's going to come between the December 2nd and December 16th. And also with this one, you with the Restoration Hardware one, you can choose the size. So I'd be going for most likely the 96 inch. 8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things I've said. I'm sleep deprived almost every night. And I wish that I wouldn't think instead. I know the sun is up and I got things to do. But I don't think I've got the energy to move. And I go back to my dreams again. But I shouldn't be sleeping when it's still Stuck in my bed Feeling now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been just not all on my own When I should make my way out I'm home, it's daylight now Gotta open my eyes Daylight now, can't be wasting my time I'm just thinking about what I should be thinking of it's about time that I get it Days up staying in the same bed I need a kickstart just to change this I don't want to waste a minute on the basics But it's keeping me feeling so amazing Stop on stretch Brush my hair, always looking like a mess Only oh, me, I could go and do the press Give it a little more fit, I'll be set And I hope that you'll miss it Just stay light now when it's stuck in my bed Day and night, never feel my best, I know, oh well But there's someone who I'll be the same again It's day and now, and I'm stuck in my bed Day and now, and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been just a night all on my own When I should make my way out Oh, it's day and now, gotta open my eyes Day and now, can't be wasting my time Time that I gave up
kids a freaking banana peel just sitting on the counter. They might have to start going to bed when I go to bed because they be doing too much. Um, and this floor is stuck all over the floor. What the heck? I'm about to wake them up. Anyway, um, stuff and just walking away. No. The whole reason for me turning on the camera was because I just realized that the frame TV is now on sale for Black Friday on Best Buy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order it today because we are now hosting Thanksgiving and we're hosting Christmas, which means we need a TV above the fireplace. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, place the order today. It should be here probably by next week, I would say. And then I need to also call the, our security company actually does the TV mounting. Um, so they'll come and drill through the, they'll come and mount the TV, drill through the um, stone and you know, that'll be that. So that's what I'm thinking I'm about to do right now. Also show y'all about the measuring process and all that kind of stuff because we're still trying to figure out what size TV to get. You can get, um, I think for us it's between like a 55 and a 60 inch. Leaning more toward the 60, the 55, just because um, I'm not exactly sure where in, like, I'll show y'all in a second what I mean. Let me just get some coffee because I'm just very much just waking up and very much tired. Not tired, but still, you know, a little foggy. Okay, now let's go ahead and measure the fireplace. So, actually, let me, let me bring y'all closer. So you can, mm, I'm trying to figure out if it's better for y'all to be closer or further away. This is probably good. So, when you measure a TV, you measure, you measure diagonally. So you need to, we need to like, do it this way and we still want to have some we still want to have some stone showing like around the edges of the TV you know I don't want it to like completely take up the entire um, fireplace I want you to, I want you to be able to see the stone around the TV and remember this is a frame TV so it's gonna look like a picture whenever we're not watching TV on it so That is, 55 is right here. And I really think that looks good. I think that's a perfect size. Especially if it's centered, it'll be like a good amount of stone at the top, a good amount at the bottom, and a good amount on both sides. I think this is like probably the correct size. If we did 60, actually that could also work. Honestly, 60 might even be better. I'm gonna have to run this, this um, back so I can see what this looks like. Cause I'm looking at it so close, I can't see what y'all see. But from my point of view, 60 also looks good. So I think we could do 55 or 60. Okay, so the TV is ordered. And because I went through the chat on Samsung's website, they had like some special deals. So I ended up getting um, the TV, which I told y'all was like, well, for the 55 inch, it was $9.99, which it used to be $1,500, like last, a couple months ago. I think I showed y'all that before. Um, so yeah, it used to be $1,500, went down to $9.99. And then um, because they had like some special deal, I got TV mounting and the actual frame for free. So I ended up only spending $1,058 after tax for all three things. So I'm so happy and excited. Um, so the, the frame TV is coming today. It's actually November 16th. 
So the actual TV is coming on the 21st. The frame is coming on the 22nd. The I set up um, the mounting services for the 23rd. And then Thanksgiving is on the 24th. So we'll have our TV mounted by Thanksgiving. It's working out. The people across the street have made service, a made service coming to their house. Once I get furniture, I think I'm gonna start doing that too. I'm trying to see what who it is, what the name of the company is. I'm gonna go over there and ask them because yeah, we gonna have to start getting a maid in here to do some stuff that I don't wanna do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy we got the TV. Now I need to really order the, what's it called? I need to really order the table. I'm thinking about going to Richmond today if I have a meeting at 10. So if after my 10 o'clock meeting, I drive to Richmond, I can finish my work there and then I can go to Restoration Hardware and kind of see what they what the table looks like and just browse and see what else they have and take y'all with me and we can do the whole thing and it'd be so fun. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay, so the TV is ordered and because I went through the chat on Samsung's website, they had like some special deals. So I ended up getting um, the TV, which I told y'all was like, well, for the 55 inch, it was $9.99, which it used to be $1,500 uh, like last, a couple months ago. I think I showed y'all that before. Um, so yeah, it used to be $1,500, went down to $9.99. And then um, because they had like some special deal, I got TV mounting and the actual frame for free. So I ended up only spending $1,058 after tax for all three things. So I'm so happy and excited. Um, so the, the frame TV is coming, today is actually November 16th. So the actual TV is coming on the 21st. The frame is coming on the 22nd. The I set up um, the mounting services for the 23rd and then Thanksgiving is on the 24th. So we'll have our TV mounted by Thanksgiving. It's working out. The people across the street have made service, a maid service coming to their house. Once I get furniture, I think I'm gonna start doing that too. I'm trying to see what who it is, what the name of the company is. I'm gonna go over there and ask them because yeah, we gonna have to start getting a maid in here to do some stuff that I don't wanna do. <laughs> it's just a lot. Cause I have to work all day and then it just be a lot. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start paying for um, a maid and then also or like a cleaning service and then also um we need to get somebody to come out and start doing something with this yard too probably maybe i think what we need to do is put down some more grass seed and then once it's completely in like and it looks good we need to either get a ride or a mower or pay somebody to come out and, and do the do it all um I feel like getting a ride on mower is probably probably a better option because we have so much yard that it's gonna cost a lot for somebody to come out here and cut this stuff and like maintain it and all that. So yeah, we'll see. I don't really, I'm not really like thinking about that right. I mean, I'm thinking about it only because I'm looking at it, but I'm not thinking about it, thinking about it. But yeah, I'm so happy we got the TV. Now I need to really order the. What's it called? I need to really order the table. I'm thinking about going to Richmond today. If I, I have a meeting at 10, so if after my 10 o'clock meeting, I drive to Richmond, I can finish my work there and then I can go to Restoration Hardware and kind of see what they what the table looks like and just browse and see what else they have and take y'all with me and we can do the whole thing and it'd be so fun. Ah! I'm so excited. That's where we are. Can y'all see it? So I drove to Richmond and now we're at RH. I'm about to go in and see if they have, I know they don't have the dining table, but they are supposed to have the coffee table in stock. So I'll show y'all that. And then I'll be able to kind of make a better decision about whether or not it's right for me. concrete so it's probably really durable but is this the wood that's on the other one other the other 
Okay. Okay. That was such a good experience. I had so much fun. So um, we got the table priced out and also with the chairs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy the chairs there or if I'm gonna buy something else from somewhere else, but I really like the ones that um, she showed me. Ooh, let me get in the car, y'all. Look how pretty this mall is. Like, it is so pretty. All right, we're going into Pottery Barn. There she is. And I just really want to look around, see what they have. They might have some new stuff in here that I can look at. So since I'm out here, I might as well just kind of make my rounds and go to all the stores. Okay, so I am obsessed with this. This is so pretty. And also this. So pretty and heavy and like sturdy. But yeah, I love both of these. And I'm probably gonna get both <laughs> once I have a table and like, and I'm starting to incorporate some decor. One of these carts for his room to hold all of his art supplies. Ugh. So, mission complete. About to go check out and then see if what the traffic looks like and if it's a good time to go home or not. Okay, because what? Like, I'm gonna look this up. I want to see how it works. Has night lights. It. I think. You just buy these different fragrance refills for it. But this is so expensive. I want to look it up and see exactly how it works, but it looks cool. Wait, how did I, how did you get away? Uh -huh. 